this single here, I bring you one of your favorite, one of the most popular squad builders in FIFA history. And this year is no different, because today, lads, today, we have the fastest team in FIFA. I know when that hotline bling, I can only see one thing. Man, that was bad. That was really bad. All right, now that I've thoroughly embarrassed myself with that shitty shitty Gaunt impression, I'm gonna give credit to the man. Gaunt, you've been doing this for years. You're gonna be doing it a lot better than I am, but I wanna try this out in career mode. Full credit to Gaunt, I'm gonna go ahead and leave him uh, in the links down below. You guys already probably know him, so I don't think he really needs the link. But I'm a man of honor and a man of the people. I'm gonna give you Gaunt your due daps. So there you go, there you go. Now, the reason why I'm gonna do this is because no one's really done it in career mode before. And we know that while Foot and career mode are both FIFA, they don't always play the same. For one, in career mode, you actually got a bigger player pool, so we're actually not gonna be using a lot of the same players. And two, what works on online gameplay doesn't always work against the AIs. And it's been long considered that pace is the most OP stat in FIFA for years, but this year people are saying it's finally nerfed. Well, let's go ahead and test that. Let's test, you know, strength, agility. This is gonna be the first in a big line of series to see what really, you know, experimental wise is the most OP stat in FIFA 16. Career mode, career mode, career mode. And people have been complaining that this year, FIFA isn't as fun anymore, so let's go ahead, let's experiment a little, let's have a little bit of fun, let's loosen up a bit. So without further ado, I present to you, humbly in the homage of Gunk, the fastest team in FIFA 16 career mode. Let go! Alright, this is the squad that I came up with, guys. Now, a little bit of the parameters that I used to go ahead and make this squad, essentially, there were a lot of players that kind of tied in pace, and that's... The main stat that I went off was just pure pace. If they tied in pace but played the same position, I basically had a little bit of leeway that I could play with. So I went for maybe, you know, like a higher rated player or whatnot. So that is basically it. Let's go ahead and get into this squad builder for career mode. Right in goal, we are using this man right here, Aruruta. Sprint speed 65 with 61 acceleration blistering. Absolutely blistering pace. He's only 5'11 in goal. He's Spanish. And when I was looking at it, a lot of the top goalies, a lot of the fastest goalies were Spanish. So good on Spain producing some quick goalies. Moving to center back, we have Ike OP Opara right here. I believe Gaunt used this player as well in his ultimate team video. We're going to go ahead and take a look at him. 72 rated overall is 6'2". The American is injury prone power header. We don't need to look at that. 91 sprint speed, 81 stamina. Freaking 82 agility, and look at that acceleration. It is all nice and sexy right there. Center back partner right here. We're gonna go ahead and put this man in, Donacion. He's got 88 sprint speed, only 69 acceleration. He hails from freaking, where does he hail from? St. Lucia. I do not know where St. Lucia is. And the right back position, we have this man right here, Deonda, who hails from the country of Bur Burkina Faso? Burkina Faso! Burkina Faso! He's got a freaking 5 star Wii foot, which is pretty nasty, pretty nasty. Let's go ahead and take a look at his speed. Hoo -hoo -hoo! Look at that, he's got 95 sprint speed and 91 acceleration. We are going to push it to the test to see if pace is really dead in this freaking video, man. And naturally, when I got bored in career mode, I naturally tried to kind of build teams toward a certain attribute. You know, maybe build the strongest team, maybe build the fastest team, maybe build, you know, the tallest team, just for novelty reasons. Kind of sprinkle things up and if you guys know my videos I naturally tend to go for the pace of your players I mean I'll be honest I'm a little bit of a of a pace or myself I mean you know I'll admit it I'm a little bit of a pace or you know a girl a girl wants what you want sometimes Cindy I don't know why I just called you Cindy <laughs> Now the left back position, as you can see, he's technically right back, but he can play right back. And that is Kavanda right here, 93 pace, 83 stamina, 92 acceleration, hailing from the country of Belgium right there. We're going to move on up. Now in the midfield, I went for two cams because that was basically the fastest midfield that I can go with. At the first cam position, we have the Korean, the South Korean, not North Korean right here, Lee Sung Hun. And we're gonna go ahead and take a look at his pace. 94 freaking pace. Oh my goodness. Only 68, so he's a little bit shit. The other guy right here is Mycon. Uh, if he has Mycon, I'm gonna predict that he's Brazil. 93 pace right there. He's got the speedster straight. He's six, and he can play the camp position. He is, in fact, 
Brazilian. Out on the right side, we have Garrick Bale. Now, I technically could have gone with, uh, I believe, Matthias Bali, but right here, I classified Bali as a striker, so I'm going to go ahead and bring him in off the bench late in games, and there we go. Bale, 95 pace. And on the left side, I went with my man. I had to go with him. I have an affinity for this sweaty mother trucker. That is the pirate, Victor Ibarrable. Coming in with a masterous 95 pace. Look at that, 78 He's got Spacer Long Throw Trait. Of course, he hails from Colombia. And he's got four star skill moves. Now, up top, the biggie boys. This is the other player that I'm sharing with Gonth, and that is Striker Man Obama Yang. Obama Yang. Obama Yang. 96 pace right there. And of course, his striking partner up top, I went with the Arsenal man, the English man. And that is the Walcott man. And now, look at that 96 pace. Just blistering. Just absolutely blistering he's got these injury prone traits but that is fine that is fine and we're gonna take a look at the bench really quick we have some guys on here honorable mentions to Anaki Williams, Yedlin, El Sharani, Cordrado, Bali, Bastions, and Al Mashor. all those guys blistering pace but just you know just one point away just one point away from making it onto the squad now guys in any good experiment what you need is a control I'm sorry to bring science into a freaking FIFA 16, but this is what we're gonna do. Every single squad that I'm gonna make, you know, either the tallest team, the, the strongest team, the shortest team, the fucking fucktard team, whatever we do, we're gonna go ahead and play against the same team. So we're gonna go ahead, we're first gonna play against Everton, and then we're gonna play against Manchester City, and then we'll see how these teams go against, you know, like a mid-tier team, and how they go against the big boys. So without further ado, let's get into this game. <clears throat> let's do this. Go ahead, look at them, look at how Quickly, I could just chase down Lukaku. And there we go. Winning the ball back. That South Korean man has got pace. Oh, damn. Pace abuse for a while. Oh, Oranakone goes ahead, gives it up. We're going to lay it off to Theo Walcott. The cut. The cut is in. And there we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, guys. You can just see right there. We're playing on aggressive. I have all my guys on aggressive. And once he is in, he is in like freaking Flynn. Uh, a terrible, terrible, like whoever was playing on the right back position right there. Cuts inside, Theo Walcott going near post OP, and uh, gets past the American big Timmy Jim Howards. And yeah, just pure, pure pace, forcing the mistake, and there is no way that they could possibly recover from that. Pace is alive and well, young lads, at least for now. 14 minutes in, we are going ahead, and we are ahead of La Computadora right now. On world class difficulty, and look, just look how easy you could just win the ball. Like one misplaced pass, and they're away. Let's go ahead, push it forward. Victory Barbo cuts inside. Going, still going. Victory Barbo still going. Victory Barbo taken down. Victor Barbo still going. Still going. Swats it across. Oh no! Oh, I went for glory. Who was that? Who was that on the ball right there? Basically, oh my god, Pace. Pace is alive and or wells. Fake shot inside. Goes to the byline. Crosses over. Oh my god. How did we not score? How did we not score? We're going to put him on pressure. There's nowhere for you to go. Nowhere for you to go. I don't think they've got out of their own. They have not gotten out of their own half. But even if you make a mistake, man, they, they're just so fast. You can recover so quickly. And look at this one misplaced pass and we'll, we'll just pounce on it just like that just like that and then we're on the attack again we go ahead and take a look at the stats at halftime we got one goal three shots and one shot on target easily you guys saw should have put another one away and look at this <laughs> zero shots zero shots on target they might be a better defensive team with this amount of pace than they are an offensive team this is incredible uh, this is the most fun i've had playing career mode in a while oh my good goodness Ladies and gents. Oh, the pace. The pace is real. Oh, oh great block. All right, see, this is where pace is going to wear down. Since we've been just running our guys ragged this whole entire match, if they can pass it around, they might be able to pass us to death and get back into this game. Oh, using the pace. Pace abuse. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And he spilled it. And that was our right back right there. Look at this. Oh, just they can't keep up. They cannot keep up with you. Melissa McCarthy on the ball right here to Sheamus. 
Sheamus, and we're just going to run him down. Oh, we have just destroyed him with Victory Barbell. Just absolutely crippled him. Oh my god, he is impotent. He's going to be impotent for years. He's going to need Viagra to get an erection again. Because he was just emasculated. Ooh. 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 Obama Yank is in. Oh, great save by Tim Howard. Should have gone with the ball roll right there, but good shot on target right there. You saw force the mistake, pounced on it. Should have been up. It's game over. All right, guys, so there you guys go. Basically, utter domination by us. I don't know if they actually got a shot on target. Absolutely smothering in the midfield. We we're able to defeat Everton. We should have scored probably three up against them. But not a bad game, not a bad game indeed. As you can see right there, Everton did play a lot better in the second half, which is to be expected since, you know, the pace kind of gets taken down as our stamina went down. They regained some of the possession. We did have three shots on target, five shots in total, and one goal. Everton had two shots, only one shot on target, and we were able to save that. All right, lads, let's see how they do up against the big boys in Man City, part two of this experiment. All right, Manchester City, a lot. More OP on the attack. Play it. Oh, what a ball! Oh, oh, come on, control that Walcott. Up a Gareth Bale onto that. Sees a Barbo on the wing. Plays it across. Going in. Oh, oh were we offsides? Yeah, we were offsides, but good play, good play. Going to your face. Oh, and a goal! Oh, that almost worked. We're getting close. We're getting close. What are we gonna do, Sterling? What are we gonna do? It's the thing about like having this much pace on the field. I'm not afraid to be overly aggressive on the defensive side. I think that's the biggest thing that I've found is that with this massive amount of pace, you could just recover. Oh, to the cut! Ah, oh, that's the thing is, even if you have good space in the midfield, I don't think your midfielders are actually good enough to deliver a good ball. Hard in. Ball cut. Pace abuse. Ball cut. Ball cut. Ah, uh, nothing. How did Fernandinho keep up with Walcott right there? Oh. Uh, go near post. Oh. Oh my god. The Korean. No. Could not sort his feet out. Amazing block off. But could not sort his feet out for the finish. You were there, South Korean dude. Oh, get onto that. We're gonna take a heavy titch. Oh my god, how did Obama Yang just get taken out by Sadio? We had an attack. How did Obama Yang get run down? Oh, uh, maybe Pace is dead. All right, guys, there we go. We both have one shot. They actually had the better shot on target right there, but we had a couple of good chances. We were just that far away, that far away. Oh, <laughs> oh look at that. Woo! Look at this. It's just, I'm just doing nothing. Hold up, holding up the ball and perfectly timed inside near post OP. Oh, the pace. The pace is freaking real. And the pace does allow me to do that because I'm so confident. I don't even need to sprint. I just kind of just weave my way through the defense and just incisive pass right there and tear freaking Man City apart. Now, this is the second half, so this is where Man City can kind of pass you apart. Um, as you can see, our, our guys aren't quite as quick. Their guys, their strength, their passing starting to go ahead and play more of a role right there just like that but great save by Rita Bali sees Lee Sung can he get to it Lee Sung can he's taken oh still got it laying it over to Obama Yang he's getting knocked over oh! knocked down by Vincent freaking is that company oh yeah get it in his face get it in his face Look at this, just too much speed. Most of the time he could be able to shield off Obama Yang, but even late in this game. There you go, pace versus strength right there. That is an ideal look at pace versus strength. Pace wins. Ugh. Release it. There we go, lads. Celebration, celebration. One of our guys is hurt, but nonetheless, pace. We win. 
Oh, if they can get onto this. Ah, hey! And that is it, young lads. That is it. So that is the all pace team in career mode. A little bit different than Gunt. I would say pace is still alive, but pace matters more on defense than it does on offense right now. You saw a couple times I was one on one with, you know, a relatively pacey center back or right back, and I could still be cut off. I could still get caught from behind. It's only when I was going backwards, when I was tracking people down, having pace of your players allows you to kind of swarm and make mistakes and still be able to recover and get to those balls. The game is catered more to the defense this year, and that's stupid. <laughs> now for the end of the show, I'm going to go ahead and give it two ratings. I'm going to give it, you know, a fun rating, like how much fun was it to actually play with this team, and a secondary rating, which is, you know, kind of my efficiency rating, or how good it would actually play in career mode. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and give you my fun rating right here. For that, I'm going to go ahead and give it... About an A minus, an A minus. I will say, it is really fun just bombing up down the wings, going through the middle, but the passing is not the greatest. I'm gonna be honest. You're actually, I probably had more fun playing defense, just running people down, and I myself am not the best FIFA player, so maybe you will have a lot more fun with this pacey team, but it's still frustrating when you're run down behind when you have 96 pace. As for how well I think you'd actually do in a career mode, I'd probably give this an A. Yes, I'm giving it a higher rating than my fun rating, and that is because they're so freaking good defensively that you're gonna win or at least draw every single game. I've yet to concede a goal by playing against some of the top tier teams in FIFA 16 career mode. And we all know that old saying, defense wins championships. And with this team, with you just putting out fires all over the midfield, it's gonna be impossible for people to score goals on you. If they can't score goals on you, they can't defeat you. Pace is still alive, just maybe not the way that you would envision it for a normal FIFA game. So yeah, that is gonna go ahead and conclude this episode of the extreme FIFA 16 career mode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little bit of an experiment. If you guys have any other ideas for teams that I should make, go ahead and list them in the comments down below. If you guys are new, go ahead, like, and subscribe as I'll be bringing you more unique takes on FIFA 16 content throughout the whole entire year. My name's B Minus. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Remember to stay yourself. Stay humble and uh be weird.